Good day and welcome back to Chemistry Videos. My name is Clarissa Sorensen Unruh and we're going to talk about naming acids today. And naming acids has to be one of the weirdest nomenclature, chemistry nomenclature moments that there is. All right, so when we're talking about acids, what do we mean by the acid that we're talking about? Acids generally have this look about them, right? So they have an H in front, hydrogen in front. They have an A, um, which A is a general fill-in. What A means is it means an anion. In this case, I can tell that this anion is a minus one charge because it only has one H hooked to it. Thus, we would call this a monoprotic acid. Lots about that later, but just generally kind of getting you used to the, to the nomenclature here. In terms of the acid, it also has an AQ on the back. AQ means that it's dissolved in water. To be an acid, it must be dissolved in water. That's the general look about it, right? If I had an anion that had a minus two charge, I would have two H's in front, thus making a diprotic acid. If I had three, a minus three charge, there would be three H's in front, a triprotic acid, and so on and so forth, okay? When I talk about these acids, what I'm talking about here is I'm talking about generally Arrhenius acids and bronsted lowry acids. I am not talking about Lewis acids. That's a whole different category, which may look the same or may look different. It's kind of the, the gist of that one. Okay, so when we're talking about naming acids, we're talking about the ones that have the H's in front. Because H is in front of every acid that we're gonna be talking about in beginning chemistry, we do not name acids based off of the H in front. That is a given by putting the word acid afterwards. What we're going to do instead is we're going to put our, we're going to base our name on the anion and not any part of the anion. We're going to base it off of the ending of the anion. So let's take three examples. I'll take general kind of straightforward examples to begin with, here. All right, so notice that in front of all of these, you have an H in front. These are all monoprotic acids. Monoprotic, by the way, mono we, mean, we know means one, Protic is really a designation of the fact that when acids dissolve, they form protons, right? So when I put that acid in water, then it forms H pluses and A minuses. And there's some contention about whether it actually forms H pluses or whether it forms H3O pluses. At the moment, the current thought is that it might form both. <laughs> it's totally fine. But this idea of the H plus, that thing is referred to in biology and higher levels of chemistry as a proton. That is not the same as the subatomic particle that exists in the nucleus, although H plus already has one proton. So it is called a proton because it this acid forms protons in water and it forms one of them. It's called a monoprotic acid. Protic meaning protons. Kind of confusing. That's okay. A lot of language that overlaps. And really this form of the proton is the earlier version of it. <laughs> Which is surprising or not. Okay, so going back over here. You have HCl. I'm going to look at the anion ending. So how do I figure that out? What I do is I act as if I were naming this like a representative element, uh, two representative elements, right, in an ionic compound. So if I were going to name this, I would name it hydrogen because H comes in front. First element you take directly off of the periodic table. This one, I would take the name of the element off the periodic table drop its ending and give it an IDE. So I would call this hydrogen chloride. And the chloride part is the important part. In fact, the important part of this chloride 
is actually the IDE. IDE endings in acids give rise to a prefix and a suffix. And then after every acid name, you write the word acid. What goes in between those two? The stem. Pretty much everything that came before the IDE. So, let's talk about what this name is, right? It has a hydro in front, a nick on the end, and then the word acid, chlor, chlor goes in between, so this becomes hydrochloric acid. Seems pretty straightforward. Woohoo! All right. In terms of the next name, right? We don't, if we were naming this, we would look and say that that's the H, right? That's hydrogen. And then you notice that there are multiple elements after that. And because there's multiple elements after that, this is actually a polyatomic anion. And if it's a polyatomic anion, I would look on the polyatomic ion chart to figure out what the name of that is. And if you look this up, you would find out that this is named chlorite. ITE endings in acid naming give rise to only a suffix and then the word acid afterwards. What goes in front of that suffix? Well, the stem, which you notice hasn't changed. Everything before the ite. So this becomes, if you're looking at it, chlorous acid. All right, excellent. Again, in the last example, you have the H in front, you would have called that hydrogen, and then this has multiple elements as well, so this must be a polyatomic ion. That polyatomic ion's name is, if you look it up on the polyatomic ion chart, chlorate. And because it's chlorate, A to E endings in acid naming give rise to X and then the word acid. What goes in front of that ick? Well, the stem, right? That beginning part, which makes this chloric acid. Okay, so looking at these three names, right? What is the primary mistake I see when I see people naming acids for the first time? Well, the primary mistake I see is that a lot of people want to just put hydro in front of every acid name because they're like, oh, the hydro talks about the H. No, that's not what happens at all, okay? Hydro is not there to talk about the H. The thing that talks about the H is the acid. That's why acid comes after all of these names. The only reason why hydro is there is because if you look at hydrochloric acid versus chloric acid, the IDE ending versus the ATE ending, the only thing that differentiates these two is the hydro in front. So because of that, for those of us who know how to name acids, if it has a hydro in front, that means that's an IDE ending. And that's the only thing it means. All right, we'll practice more later. Until then, adieu.